So, I wasn't planning on doing a review for this game, but something deep inside my stone heart just found something so infatuating with this game. So I forced my own hand, if you can even do that. Like, fuck, dude. For a game I found on Steam for free, I found myself having fun with an art game. So, if you want to leave, you're welcome to, because it's only going to go downhill from here. No, I, seriously, you can leave. It's terrible after this point. The video is just shit. The rest of my channel is shit after this point, so you can just leave. This game is literally a painting game, so if you're expecting anything more, don't. Because I'm here to tell you that this game has so much potential. For instance, if they added in a VR mode to this game, it could break records. I'm serious, this game is just that fun. And don't get me started on how streaming this game could be so much fun. And while on topic of streaming, have you heard about my Twitch channel? Because that's where you can go and bully me live. Make fun of me live. So if that sounds fun or you're being blackmailed by me, go on down to Cantaloupe Gaming at twitch.tv. The link will be down in the description. Right. Back to the game. You're given ideas through commissioned emails on things to paint, but I feel like this system is a little bit boring. Instead of having a system where it just picks a noun and a verb and something random, so it's randomized and somewhat not serious, just like the laws during Prohibition. This would allow for people to have to get creative with a response because they're not just automated things telling you to paint a square in said location. Instead of having it be like painting a tiger on a jet ski. See, that sounds really fun to paint compared to just drawing some random shit on the page because the commission told you to. And sometimes they just use these very vague answers to draw something, like saying that you should draw something contemporary. Like, can we have some noun to put in it? Like a t contemporary chair or painting of something other than just contemporary? It just seems a little bit bland in my opinion. You see, the commissioned ideas shouldn't be like orders that are given to the player to fill. They should more or less be masterpieces that the player has to make through suggestions that the board themselves is giving them. That's because this game has so many options to paint with, and the way that the game feels and looks, it's just out of this world. Okay, you can hang me later for that joke, okay? But I'm just saying, there's something infatuating about this game and everything in it that just makes it work. It just works in my opinion because it's all so simple and yet you can be complicated. You can do whatever you want with it. Every time I play this game, I actually feel like I'm in my own studio and have all the creative freedoms in the known world at the tips of my fingers to paint whatever I see fit. And then I end up drawing something stupid. But that's okay because that's what this game is about, doing what you want to do. So if you want to draw something stupid, draw something stupid. If you want to draw a masterpiece, then draw a masterpiece. The canvas is yours to mend, and the game will give you all the tools you need to do so. And hell, even if this game is this simple, I still can see that this game has so much potential in it, and also could have so much more objects to work with if they decide to add them in on the future. And why not give it a chance? It's free on Steam for a demo, and it runs on my shitty computer, so there's no real excuse for you guys. And I just want to say thanks for watching my video. I know this one was a little bit short, but there's not that much to talk about this game. It's pretty simple, and it's also a lot of fun. So if you ever have the chance and some free time, I would definitely give this game a play. And I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs> I gotta be on. If I look up a picture of Swaggered, can I actually find a picture of him? Hold on. If I look up Swaggered right now. <laughs> it's the first thing in the search result. <laughs> Where's the fucking. Is. <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate myself. We gotta, alright. We gotta find.
We gotta find the, like, fucking giant guy. <laughs> the secret of the super rich. <laughs> I fucking love this picture. We gotta, we, we have to recreate this picture. There's no way we can't recreate this picture. This. <laughs> crying who the fuck drew this <laughs> it's i need an answer Th this is under <laughs> Hagrid, more like swagrid <laughs> oh my fucking gosh they drew with like a shitty smiley <laughs> Laughing at this. If I laugh at this anymore, I'm actually gonna pass out. Oh my gosh, no, we need to recreate this drawing. There's no fucking way we can't recreate this drawing. Oh my gosh, hold on. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. This is this is the most like 2010 fucking meme ever, and I fucking love it. Oh my gosh, dude. Uh, are you having a giggle? Oh. I had a friend in fucking...